with the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set to release on the second, it looks like they've already greenlit a series and a second movie. With the trailers already showing that this might be a woke Turtles movie, I think this might be the end of the franchise. So if you haven't heard, Seth Rogen is actually part of the team working on this movie. And we got the first movie coming out on the second, followed up by a TV series that is supposed to bridge the gap. And then whenever it happens, the second movie. And just from the trailer, I have a lot of negative opinions on this movie. And I know some people love Seth Rogen. I don't think he's genuinely that funny. He's got the same stick. But again, he's not doing anything other than helping produce this movie. But what also worries me is that Evan Goldberg's going to be part of the production team on this one, who worked on things like uh, Santa Inc. That was one of the worst series to come out. You know, the one where the woman had to come in and tell Santa she was part of the patriarchy and all that BS? Yeah, that dude. But that would also explain why April O'Neil has been race swapped. And another thing that stuck out to me on this movie and this reboot of the franchise is that everybody is a lot younger. And just in case some of you are younger, this is exactly what I'm talking about. And with the way Hollywood's been going, them making them essentially young kids at this point, and the race swapping, I have genuine concerns about how this movie and TV series is going to go. So the predictions for this movie are really low, and it looks like it has a really low production value, and it looks like it's estimated between 70 and 80 million. So it's not as low as it could be, but it's still pretty low. So realistically, this movie probably has to make 200 million to do the break even. And the current predictions are that the opening weekend will be between 27 and 36 million and might earn 100 to 145 million. And with it being Nickelodeon and Paramount, I honestly think it's going to need 150 to 200 million to break even. And quite honestly, I haven't seen a good Turtles movie since the 90s. Even the new ones, I wasn't a huge fan of. They weren't bad. They had the action scenes, but they just weren't. They didn't feel like Turtles movies. And it's a shame they've gone down the woke path because I actually don't mind the animation style in this one. I think the voice actors are cast terribly. I think the race swap is a stupid fucking thing and it needs to be gone. But just from the trailer, it looks like the writing is actually pretty terrible. But let's watch some of the trailer together and see if uh, you guys think the same thing I do. I'm awesome. Boys, where have you been? See, uh... I think that's an actually pretty decent animation style. Splinter looks like crap, but we're really sorry, Splinter. Some of the guys wanted to get pizza, and I tried to talk them out of it. You ratted us out. Hey, don't use that word that way. I mean, it's 2023. Like I said, some of the writing just feels off. Hey guys, if we weren't monsters that were shunned by society and we could do what we wanted, what would you guys do? Go to high school. Maybe get a girlfriend. Can you imagine that? And again, I'll bounce real quick into how weird Holly Weird is and how much I don't like the voice acting for this one. The writing seems like it's trying to be woke without trying to be too woke, which worries me because it makes me kind of think the rest of the movie is more woke. That's a little tortoises, huh? I can't believe there are other mutants. You want to roll with us? Oh. Humans are never going to like us. So yeah, we see Bebop and Rocksteady, and I actually don't mind the stylization. It looks great. Like, for an animated series, they look good. It's literally everything else I have a problem with. And here on Screen Rant, we can see that there's two Turtles movies confirmed with a two-series show in between. So they're just going to be cranking out everything while there's a writer's strike going on. I've got this funny feeling this is just going to be one of the worst piles of trash we've seen in a long time. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section. While you're there, drop me a like. Make sure you share, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.